Hello, hello, hello. Hola, hola a todos. Bienvenidos a otro video. Welcome to another video. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> are you okay? Are you ready to learn some Spanish? I know it's Friday, no, Saturday night, and probably people are just resting. Uh, I'm not sure if if uh, you guys want to learn some Spanish right now, but um, I think it, it it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So please remember, uh, before we get started, please remember to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video or rather I live stream. Also visit SME, smelessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And uh, please give this video a like, that helps me a lot. And also I would like to give a big shout out to Kay Beck. She's a Cafecito member. And uh, thank you Kay Beck for your support for the coffee. And if you want me to give you a shout out and there are more perks, uh, you can take a look at the memberships. You only need to click on the join button down below. That it helps. If you get a membership, that helps this channel a lot. Um, but yeah, you can just take a few seconds and look at the memberships if you can and if you want to support this channel. Uh, okay. Once again, thank you, Kay Beck. <laughs> And, uh, well, today we are going to learn something basic, uh, but something important to learn as well. We are going to learn some basic phrases with the verb oír, oír, okay? Oír is a very common Spanish verb, and by the way, we are live streaming right now. If you have any questions, please use the live chat. Hopefully I can answer your questions. Also, you can just say hello. You can just um, leave a comment or something like that. It's up to you. Okay, so as I was saying, today we are going to learn some, a few Spanish phrases with the Spanish verb oír, oír. And this verb, this verb means to listen or to hear, okay? To listen, to hear. And um, also this verb is an irregular Spanish verb. That means that this verb has a unique conjugation, okay? A little bit tricky, but it's not too difficult. Now, let's see some phrases. Let's see how... Uh, when you use oír in different situations, sometimes it might be, it, the meaning might change a little, but we're going to go over like five different phrases, okay? Perfect. So the first phrase is oír mal, oír mal. This phrase is a very common Spanish phrase. And this means to be unable to hear properly. Okay, so if you didn't hear something well, you can you can say oír mal, oír mal, or you can use this phrase. And we can see an example here using this short phrase. Disculpa, oí mal. Disculpa, oí mal. This means, excuse me, I didn't hear well, okay? So this is another common phrase to just say, I didn't understand what you said, you know? In Spanish, you can say, no entendí, or something like that, but also you can use this phrase, oí mal, oí mal. Let's break this down. Disculpa, disculpa. That means, excuse me, or pardon, in this case, you know, because you didn't hear something well, right? And oí mal means I didn't hear, I didn't hear well, 
okay? And we can see that oír here is in past tense. Oí mal, oí mal. I didn't hear well. It literally, like, this phrase is very interesting because it literally means I to hear bad. That That's the literal translation. Oír, oír, once again, you know what it means to hear, to listen. And mal is similar to bad or badly, right? So it's to listen bad, to hear bad. So it's very, very funny that the phrase, that phrase means that, but it's a very common Spanish phrase that you can use. Obviously, you need to know the conjugation of the verb oír, but yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting for sure. Okay, so that was the first, the first phrase. Now let's go over the next phrase. Oír de alguien. Oír de alguien. This means to hear from somebody. Okay, so now we're talking about somebody. And let's see. This phrase literally means to hear or to listen. Oír de, from, alguien. Somebody. Okay, to hear from Somebody, so there is no confusion here. We the translation is very clear. Oír de alguien means to hear from somebody. Okay, so far so good. Now let's see an example. No he oído de ella. No he oído de ella. This means I haven't heard from her. Okay. So this is a very easy phrase to use because it's very similar to the English one. So let's break this down. No he is, that is similar to I haven't oído de ella. Okay, heard from her. And we can see here that we didn't use alguien right, in the phrase. We didn't use alguien, but you can change alguien with, or you can change it to something else, to a different personal pronoun. So you can say ella, you can say él, uh, you can say ellos, no he oído de ellos, no he oído de él, no he oído de ustedes, right? So, it's quite flexible. You can replace alguien with a different personal pronoun. So that's that's quite easy, right? That's very, very easy. Okay, let's go. Let's look at the next phrase. Oiga. Oiga. This is a, an expression. It's um, It's just one word, right? It's not a phrase, but it's one common expression in Spanish when you want someone to look at you. You know, if you want somebody's attention, you can use oiga, oiga. And that's similar to saying a, hey, a hey, or a hey, listen, right? And um, another common, 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 common expression. And well, let's see. I'm going to read the example that I have here. Oiga, no se vaya. Oiga, no se vaya. This means, hey, don't go. So it's a very short example, very short, uh, short sentence. So oiga means a hey, or a hey, listen, right? And no se vaya means don't go. Okay, and because we're using se, no se vaya, that is a polite way to, to say to someone, don't go, okay? No se vaya. The informal way to say this is no te vayas, right? But if we say no se vaya, 
that means don't go and we are um, using this also something that is um, important to remember is that oiga oiga is a formal or polite way to say a hey, oiga oiga no se vaya so if you say oiga you also have to use you need to keep you need to keep everything consistent so if you use oiga everything has to be uh, polite or formal right oiga no se vaya if you want to say this in an informal way uh, hello samuel arrigo oye yes that's correct welcome samuel and yeah if you want to make this more informal or just informal you can change oiga to oye okay and also you need to change se to te and also the conjugation of the spanish verb ir has to change to to vayas no te vayas okay so Let's read the whole sentence now. Oye, no te vayas. And that means, hey, don't go, you know. So that's very interesting that oiga is the formal way of, you know, of saying a, and oye is the informal, an informal way, right? To say a. Excellent. Uh, hello, Shaka, nice. Hello, welcome. Me quedo, okay, me quedo contigo. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a good answer <laughs> to this ex expression for sure. Okay, now let's see the next phrase, okay? Ah, this, uh, this is another expression. Another common phrase to say in Spanish. And the, the phrase is Dios te oiga. Dios te oiga. And this means I hope you're right. And um, well, Dios te oiga literally means I hope God hear, hears you or listens to you, right? Uh, it's a, a bit religious, <laughs> but it's a common phrase that a lot of people say in Spanish. Dios means God. Te oiga is similar to saying listens to you, right? Dios te oiga. And that means I hope you're right. That's the meaning of this phrase. And you can say it in different situations, usually when you want something to happen, right? And if someone is telling you, um, I hope you get the job, right? You can say, Dios te oiga, Dios te oiga. I, I hope so too, or I hope you're right, right? Now, let's see this example. Vas a encontrar trabajo. Vas a encontrar trabajo. So, as I was saying like a few seconds ago, someone is saying something about a job, right? And um, the answer is Dios te oiga. So, someone is telling you, vas a encontrar trabajo. You can say, or, you know, you can say the expression Dios te oiga. Vas a encontrar trabajo, Dios te oiga. And that means... You're going to find a job. I hope you're right. Right? So it's this is like one person telling you this and you answering this, right? So, vas a encontrar trabajo. Vas a encontrar trabajo. This means you're going to find a job. Okay? And the expression here, Dios te oiga. I hope you're right. Okay, um, Shaka Nice says que no es necesario. Que Dios te oiga? Do you mean that when maybe uh, we should add que at the beginning of this expression? That's another way to say this. And you're right. You can say 
que Dios te oiga. It's like emphasizing, you know, que Dios te oiga. Uh, but also you can say, Dios te oiga, Dios te oiga, or que Dios te oiga. So either one works fine, and they're pretty much the same, okay? That's a great question. Uh, Samuel Arrigo, no por, no por porque no porque no es una traducción literal. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what you're referring to, uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is not a. a I'm not sure is if Samuel is answering to Shaka, you know, the question that Shaka has about que, uh, but, but I've heard from Spanish speakers, say, you know, the phrase Dios te oiga and also que Dios te oiga, you know, it's just an expression. So yeah, that is another common phrase. Okay, so lastly, let's just look at one more phrase and this one is a bit different from the other ones, and you'll see in a sec. Okay, so this is another expression. And we're not using the Spanish verb oír, but we're using the noun oídos, okay? Oídos, it's ears, okay? Oído means ear, and oídos is the plural form, and that means ears, okay? I just wanted to... You know, I, I just wanted to talk about this expression because I think it's a very useful one as well. So, this phrase uh, is, well, let's just say it. Ser todos, todo oídos. Actually, ser todos oídos. You don't need this. Ser todo oídos. Ser todo oídos. And this means to be all ears and uh well this is another common it's a very very good phrase and ser means to be todo todo all oídos ears okay ser todo oídos to be all ears. If you want to use this phrase you need to know the conjugation of this verb ser ser and that's a basic spanish verb and it means to be okay now let's read the example cuéntame soy todo oídos cuéntame soy todo oídos and this means tell me i'm all ears and well i mean the english expression i'm all ears is very similar to soy todo oídos and um, it's another 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 helpful phrase just to express that you're interested in i don't know something right you want to hear everything about i don't know about something so cuéntame cuéntame means tell me oops my straight line I, my, my straight lines are not straight <laughs> Tell me, soy todo oídos, I'm all ears. And yeah, this is the last phrase. It's an, a really good one to learn. It's very common. And you're going, if you use this expression, you're going, you're going to sound very natural in Spanish, okay? So yeah, if you want to hear everything about something, you should use this Spanish phrase for sure. Okay, so if you want to share more examples, you can do so. You can use the live chat for that. Or let me know if you have any questions. I can look at the chat right now and hopefully I, I have an answer to your questions. And uh, yeah, it's it's very, very, the phrases are very common, very easy to use. Remember that we're using the word oír, except in the last example or the last phrase. And once again, oír means to listen, to hear. 
And um, remember, this Spanish verb is an irregular Spanish verb. So it has a peculiar conjugation. It's not too difficult, but yeah, you have to pay attention to that. Okay, now I'm going to drink some water. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to look at the chat as well. So just to see if you have any questions, guys. Okay, is everything clear? <laughs> okay. Samuel Arrigo has a question. Las frases son de o se usan en una región específica o todos se, todo se entienden. Okay, that's a great question, Samuel. I'm pretty sure that all of these phrases are going to be understood everywhere in Latin America, in, um, in Spain, you know, you can use all of the all of these phrases without any problem. Great. Thank you for for your question. It's a very good one. Adam Wirt, puedo oírte. Gracias. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's a that's a good example. Puedo oírte. Gracias. Yeah, that's great, Adam. Thank you. Um Samuel Arrigo, thumbs up. Yep, <laughs> perfect. Uh, Saka, Shaka Nice asks, ¿De dónde sos? ¿De dónde sos? Uh, I'm Mexican. I'm from Mexico. I actually have a video where I explain things about me. And um, if you want to go on my channel, uh, just on the, on, you know, on the channel and just browse for that video but yeah i i'm from mexico and um, yeah i'm a proud mexican <laughs> okay so i think that's it for today thank you so much guys for tuning in i hope you learned you learned some spanish and uh, please practice your spanish try to try to use these phrases and uh, well I, I i just hope you like the lesson thank you so much for watching have a, a nice weekend or nice a, a nice yeah we we're like in the middle of the weekend but yeah have a nice weekend thank you so much for tuning in again and remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time i upload no, I live stream mostly nowadays. So yeah, if you click on the bell icon, you can get notified every time I live stream. And um, yeah, give this video a like. Check out the memberships that supports this channel a lot. And um, yeah, if you want to read more about Spanish, you can go to smlessons.com. And uh, there's also like things that you can download for free, like crossword puzzles, and you can purchase flashcards and yeah, a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> okay, have a good night, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.